What's up everyone? So it is Thursday, October 8th, and we are testing the infamous. We're going back to the roots. This is an OG Aztec healing clay secret. Indian healing clay. It's 100% bentonite clay. I actually want to compare another 100% bentonite clay to this, so stay tuned for a future comparison video. But anyway, it's literally been like three years since I used this regularly, so we are going to compare and see if this actually lives up to like how good it says it is, etc. Again, it's been a long time since I've used this. So we're gonna do a week-long test and we're going to see how this treats my active breakouts right now They're looking crazy. I already took a before picture and then stay tuned at the end of the video for the before and afters on the benefits of this stuff All I know is this is a powerhouse and it's heavy-duty. So I'm gonna be mixing it with apple cider vinegar Basically, it's a one-to-one -one ratio of powder to apple cider vinegar If you don't put the apple cider vinegar in and you just use water, it's gonna get super clumpy and it actually won't mix well So it's honestly your call <laughs> what you want to do. I'm just using a half a tablespoon and also it's a very important thing to not use metal. Metal will actually deactivate the benefits of bentonite clay so always use plastic or glass or wood anything but metal. We're gonna take this Bragg's raw unfiltered organic apple cider vinegar because this stuff is just so much better if you eat it, put it on your face, like the organic unfiltered stuff is just so much better. So you watch it sizzle. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh yeah, it's kind of sizzling. Oh, you can hear it. Oh my God, it's so cold. Oh, oh yeah, I already washed my face. Make sure your face is washed and dry. Consistency is literally perfect. You're not like struggling to spread it. If you're struggling to spread the stuff on your face, you clearly did not put enough apple cider vinegar. Or if it's still clumpy on your face and you're trying to spread it out, that is like literally not enough. So yeah, pretty much when in doubt, a one-to-one -one ratio is perfect. You don't want it runny, but you don't want it clumpy. So this is literally the perfect in between. I already have like the perfect amount on. I'm ready to wash it now. Okay, so initially my skin looks very red and it definitely is dry right now. So I'm going to have to do my skincare right away. So I'm just gonna do that and then go to bed. But yeah, first impression, my skin is dry and red. Red because of the pulse. Um, apple cider vinegar is very good if you have oily skin. It is morning, I just woke up. It's Friday, October 9th. I just woke up. But anyway, so this is just the first impressions. I feel like a lot of the redness went down. These are like so red, like also around everywhere. So I really like the fact that I'm seeing some redness come down. So yeah, that is just a first initial impressions. Pimple right here. And then they're basically, I want to see if this will go away. And if like any scarring will go away and you talk fine. Again, I'm just gonna be doing this every day or every second day again because like it is pretty stripping, especially if you're using apple cider vinegar. I will catch you later. My eyes are so puffy. Ugh. <laughs> To me, this is like the perfect consistency. It's not too runny, but it's not like so thick that you have to like try hard to spread it. This is like literally how it should be in my opinion. One to one ratio is the perfect amount. So yeah. <laughs> So it is October 14th. I just got a comment saying you make acne look good and whoever said that, I am very flattered. You are way too kind, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, so it is Wednesday. It is the final update. I've been picking at this pimple, but like this is literally like the only active breakout really I have um, I can that I can feel. Yeah, just here. <laughs> But anyway, I've missed using the Aztec Healing Clay Mask regularly, like so much. I totally completely forgot how clean and soft and supple my skin feels from after that. And I feel like the apple cider vinegar really, really, really does the job, like balancing out your pH. My skin, I feel like is just balanced overall again. Like, like the pH, like my skin doesn't feel dry at all. And I was shocked because I thought using the mask, like every second day, which is still pretty excessive. I wouldn't obviously do this or recommend anyone to do this on like a regular basis 
this every day or even every second day even once every few days I feel like once every few days is probably at most but yeah even what I did in this video was pretty excessive but yet my skin never felt stripped at all like if anything it felt more hydrated because of the apple cider vinegar like balancing out my overall pH and I'm not sure maybe the bentonite clay too it just pulls out toxins just overall makes your skin super soft and supple and it was just like not stripping at all I mean I definitely do love the teamy detox mask that I really like I could definitely link that one down below but I feel like nothing at the end of the day is going to be better than just pure apple cider vinegar and bentonite clay it's so simple but so effective again like my acne comes basically from internal like my gut health and digestion and stuff like that but if your acne is just strictly like bacteria based and just like topically <laughs> from just like bacteria or just dirt the apple cider vinegar will like disintegrate any dirt on your skin like any trace of dirt and the bentonite clay will just suck everything out so like this is definitely a powerhouse the most powerful mask I personally have ever tried but also the most gentle mask I've ever tried in my life so yeah I'll take an after picture I'm not really sure again how drastically a week can do visibly but, but all I know is that I literally have to keep continuing with this use because this is the definitely one of the most beneficial most drastic feeling different products I've ever used on my skin that I actually feel like and see that it's doing something for my skin it just looks so vibrant and glowy and supple it feels amazing so again without any of the harsh ingredients that a lot of skincare products on the market do have and this is so affordable but anyway this whole video is just a revisit of the bentonite clay because it's been a while it's been a hot minute since I have actually tested this thing and used it regularly again so I thought what a better way to reintroduce this back into my life than uh, record and document it so uh, just to kind of confirm that yes uh, my thoughts and opinions never changed <laughs> from three years ago uh, three years later definitely make your own judgment you won't know you like this mask until you try it out yourself I'll definitely Definitely link it down below as well as apple cider vinegar because you definitely need that stuff it helps a lot yeah with that being said hope you have a good day good night whoever you're watching this please subscribe if you want to see more of me i post every sunday tuesday and thursday hit that bell notification so you don't miss a video i post all my social media links and the products in the video will be linked down below <laughs> as well as my second youtube channel definitely subscribe to that for when i release music it'll mean the world to me and lots of virtual kisses and hugs and i'll see you in the next video okay peace <laughs>